this is Letta C. I'm Sam Ridgeway. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really neat video all about coat hangers. If you have wire hangers, do not throw them away. Old fashioned wood ones, plastic ones, or the bottom of the pants to clip on the hanger, keep them. There are so many great useful ways to repurpose them in your home, especially if you're on a tight budget and want to organize. But first, let's smash on that subscribe word Tap on that bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get organized. On my table here, I have different types of hangers and various ways to use them for organization. The one on the far right with the circles is one of my favorites. I picked up at a thrift store for a dollar and you can organize your scarves and bras on it and hang it up in your closet and it uses up that much needed vertical space. Vertical is a great way to organize and use it whenever possible. In the middle here, I have a bunch of various hangers. I have an old school plastic style one that replicates the wood one. I have the more modern plastic ones that have a little groove here to help hang your silk shirts and tops. If you don't have these, I have a great hack that will help you keep things on your hangers and they won't slip or fall. And then I found this one that was probably my mom's from the 70s and I keep it for the nostalgia of it. Plus a bunch of the wire ones that my husband says are from the 1800s because they're probably that old. I have a paper towel holder but we're not going to be using it for paper towels. Some shower curtain rings for another great hack. A roll of paper towels to demonstrate really clever organization hacks of where you can use hangers. And over here, on the end here, I have a bunch of hats. I have soda tabs and bread tabs that you would normally discard, but we're gonna use them for organization purposes. I have some scarves, suspenders, sunglasses, and some clothes here on the far end of the table to show you how to use some more vertical storage with items you would normally throw away and your hangers. By starting with the rings here from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take a couple of the rings. I'm going to use it for a couple of different organization purposes. three off. You take your hanger, you're going to attach the shower curtain ring to the hanger. You take a hat, And then you're going to hang them just like this. Now you can do the same thing with the scarf. And taking the shower curtain ring. I'm going to attach it to the hanger. They just snap pretty easily in. You take one of your scarves. And loop it in. Two great ways to organize with a hanger. A hat organizer and a scarf organizer. That is pretty clever. I like that. Use with your sunglasses or fashion glasses or your holiday ones, whichever you want. You can do the same thing. And 
glasses are going to sit onto the thing. Now it's attached. glasses are securely on. And I have a pair of fashion glasses for holidays. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attach it onto the hanger. I'm going to loop it in and tuck in the Part that rests on your ear. Now your glasses are going to be hung up and organized in your closet and out of the way. And finding the clothes like this, hanging to one side, or just falling off and on the ground. I know I am. Now there's a few different ways you can do this little hack here. You can use your hot glue gun and hot glue to hang her. I personally don't have time to preheat the glue gun when I don't need it for a craft or when I use my glue on a hanger, unless it is for a craft. So I'm going to take these and bread ties, or if you have pipe cleaners, you can use the pipe cleaners. I'm going to take a couple of bread ties on either side of the hanger, right around here. This will work on the plastic hangers too, as well as the pipe cleaners. I'm going to snake it around. And then it's going to be just like this. And then you're going to take your shirt or your bra or scarf, whichever you would like, and it's going to stay on. It's not going to fall off. How many is that? That's so nifty. I really like that. I was shaking that. I'm going to talk about hard. the soda tabs that I took out of my junk drawer. I have them in my little muffin pens. A whole bunch of them. I keep them because you never know when you're going to need one. This is a total MacGyver moment here. I'm going to take your soda tab and loop it to the hanger. A lot of people already know about this. Some people don't. And you can use that much needed vertical storage that I mentioned that is so important to maximize the space in your closet. And if you wanted to, you can do your jeans on this part, your top, a t-shirt, a tank top, whatever other vest that you want and complete your outfits this way. And there are really neat ways to hang shoes with your hangers. And they're going to stay. See? The shirt is not falling off. A great way to organize. You can take the other tab and get it ready for you. Put the small side on first. Because it will fit the plastic hangers to the larger lip part. On that extra soda tab that you've just put on here. Now you have your jeans and a top. And a vest. This is my besties vest. You're going to get it when they come up in the end of April. Hopefully be nice enough so we can go hiking over to our favorite Thatcher's Park. I would like them to actually see it with the water running and not halfway frozen. But that is a great way to use vertical space to keep your clothes organized and you have a completed outfit. You just get up and say, hmm, I think I'll wear this today. And you're ready to go. Now I'm going to show you my favorite the nautical rope organizer here. You take your scarf or bra or whatever and it's that vertical space that we love to keep things nice and organized. I haven't even taken the tag off of this yet. They gave it to me for half price because it wasn't selling. Then you can take more of these hooks here from the Dollar Tree and maximize the space on it.
by snapping them on. And you can take the suspenders. My teenager loves suspenders. They are very old school. All about comfort. Not too much into name brands. That is my queen, the name brand queen. From iPhone to Gucci, which they'll never have a Gucci until they have their own job. Although I did have a Gucci that I got from Santa Claus when I was about 13. You can hang the suspenders right on the shower curtain ring in the Dollar Tree. And then you can hang another scarf next to it. You maximize the space per circle to really utilize that vertical storage area in your closet. Now we're going to work with the paper towel holder, but we're not going to put the paper towels on it. I'm so glad I found one of my mom's hangers. She's been gone a long time now. And take all your hangers that you have here on your table when you're organizing. Always keep certain things, not all of them, just enough so when you see something that you can do, you have it available so you can actually do it. We're going to store our hangers on a paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree. And then we're going to take a wire hanger and we're going to make a paper towel holder for the paper towel roll by just using our clippers here. I'm going to cut the end off. I'm going to have to bend a little bit. It may take a minute or two. And then you have a paper towel holder. This is really cute. I like this. They have them with plastic hangers, wood hangers. I've seen all different types of ideas on Pinterest. I like this just to give you an idea of how to use it. Here is the pant hanger holding up a book. I don't have a lot of cookbooks anymore, if any at all. This is just to give you an idea how to use them. And though I have those type of cabinet knobs here, I just snipped a little part of the holder here and it fit right on. Great way to repurpose. Here's the hanger on a command hook holding up my paper towels off the counter and creating more room for me because I have limited counter space and a small kitchen. Another great way to use these coat hangers is to untwine it from the top here and make it into a snake for your drain to unclog drains. My parents did this back in the 70s. My grandparents probably did it in the 60s. It is a timeless hack. You can also make them into a wreath. They're perfect. You can shape them into a circle shape and I've seen them use Christmas bulbs, pine cones, all kinds of great way to make really inexpensive wreaths of what you already have at home and by repurposing. Now I have an extra snake for the bathroom. That's it for this video. Uses for hangers and repurposing them in your home. What are ways that you've reused hangers in your home? Comment down below and let me know and maybe you'll inspire me to do a new video for more uses for hangers. I have some honorable mentions, which I'll show some photos at the end. I have some really weird, stupid cabinets. They have a different style handle, they're not a knob. And I can't do the one trick that I wanted to do where you can use the hanger in your cabinet and it sits on it and you can use it to hang your tea towels and things. I thought that was pretty clever, but this is a very old house with a lot of quirks about it. Before we go, don't forget to smash on that subscribe word. Don't forget to tap on that bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share me to social media. Spread the word about me to your family and friends. Have them subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.